Hey guys, welcome on into today's video where we're going to be exploring the channels here on the free TV streaming service Pluto TV. We're going to be talking about what they do well in terms of their content, maybe what they could improve on and just give kind of an overview of different offerings that they have here. It's a free service. I definitely recommend you at least try it given the fact that you don't have to pay for this particular service. It's kind of a curated host of channels here of different free content that you can find in all different places over the internet provided here into this one more easy to consume package so the one thing that pluto tv does better i think than anything else is having news content there's just a lot of free 24 7 news outlets all over the internet and they're curated here going through we have things like uh, cbsn NBC News, CNBC, Cheddar, The Young Turks, Newsmax TV, Newsy, RT America, Sky News, Business News, Bloomberg. And if you're someone who's into watching free television, uh, whether it's on like a Roku player or on the internet or a smartphone device or all these different things, and you're really into accessing a lot of this content, you probably noticed that they have free streams for these particular uh, news shows all over the place on the internet but this is curated into one spot you can pick the one that you want to view so what they do really well at pluto tv is definitely getting all of those news sources into one spot here so you can uh, pick and choose what you decide to view moving on to movies now these aren't going to be necessarily the greatest movies by any means it certainly isn't an hbo subscription but it does have about nine different movie channels here. They try to curate it into different sections. So there's just two general movie sections, and then there's action movies, Flicks of Fury, Horror, Classic, Black Cinema, Gravitas, and The Asylum. You're probably not going to see a whole lot of movies on here that you'd be excited to watch. Maybe every now and again, you'd see something that might interest you, but movies... Not a big surprise, not going to be a huge uh, positive here for Pluto TV. It is free content, but it's not going to be the uh, exclusive newer type of movies or higher end movies that you're going to get over at HBO, for instance. But if you're just a big movie fan, whether they're good movies or bad movies or A-list, B-list, whatever, uh, you might find something here that you enjoy. Moving on to sports. And another area where it's not a big surprise that Pluto TV doesn't do a great job, it's with their sports content. I will say that Stadium is a pretty decent sports channel. Uh, and then also Fox Sports, you're going to get clips from their studio shows over at FS1. So that might be interesting. Um, and then they also have like the fight channel, the kickboxing, poker. Um, and then they just have some random different... Uh, colleges and conferences and things like that. But obviously, you're not going to be getting a bunch of live sports from professional sports leagues, if any at all. Um, so sports, not something that Pluto TV des necessarily does a good job at. And if you are looking for a free alternative uh, to the more premium sports content that you have to pay for, I don't think that this is going to be the solution for you. It's kind of just thrown in here as some added filler kind of stuff. But Again, maybe you like Stadium, and that can be enough for you to get by. Um, but other than that, not a whole lot of different options here for Pluto TV in the sports category. Now we're going to move on to the upcoming categories where it's more of, I would say, kind of a curation of different free YouTube content that you can get uh, put into these channels that have a little bit more of a focus down on a certain subject or category or things like that. So again, not going to be a whole lot of content in these upcoming categories of just traditional television that you might be used to. It's more short form video and things like that. But we have the comedy section. You're going to get some stand up stuff, some funny video like the fail army. You have uh, mystery science theater, uh, funny AF videos, moving on down here, the onion, cat videos 24-7. Um, not a great selection of really solid comedy. It's not going to be like Comedy Central type of content here, more just a mismatch of different YouTube type content and things like that, but is what it is. It's thrown in there. Moving on to geek and gaming, 
In this section, there's more of a focus on things like anime, video games, and technology. CNET, very curated, IGN, Nerdist. Again, these are things that you can get over on YouTube for free. That's more just curated over here. Anime all day might be something you want to check out if you're an anime uh, anime fan. Minecraft TV, uh, Geek Sundry. Moving on to Chill Out. Over in this section, we got about eight channels. These are going to be more like 24-7 streams of things like high-quality 4K content, slow-mo TV, nature vision, uh, things like that where you can just kind of turn it on in the background and just let it play. Probably not stuff that's going to be all that entertaining, but it's thrown in tier to a separate category on its own. Moving on to entertainment, now we're finally getting back to a section where there might be a little bit more intriguing content here. So you're going to have things like after school cartoons, classic cartoons, classic television, uh, kids TV, which again is probably going to be more cartoon type content, crime network, uh, man up, shout out factory, live music replay. Um, but anyways, in this particular section here of entertainment, you're going to get more traditional type of TV shows, especially in like after school cartoons, classic tunes TV and classic TV and things like that, where it's not just those short form YouTube type videos. You actually might be able to get a little bit more out of this section of channels on Pluto TV. Moving on to Life Plus Style, this is their effort to try to get more content that you'd get on traditional satellite and cable TV, but again, in these shorter form, um, but you can kind of compare it more to like the Food Network, uh, TLC, different channels like that that they try to curate here. Again, these aren't going to be replacements for that type of content, but you might be able to search through here and find something that you find interesting. But again, you're going to get more of that short form video here. Uh, for these particular channels. So you can check those out as well. We're almost to the end. Moving on to Curiosity. This is a section where I'm kind of surprised Pluto TV doesn't do a better job. There's just a ton of different science, documentary, interesting type of videos out there on YouTube that you think they, they could curate into more channels that are similar to like Science TV, Discovery, National Geographic, Animal Planet, all these types of things, but just four channels here and not necessarily always the most intriguing all the time. And I wish they had more options here under the curiosity section. Maybe in the future they'll add more, um, especially in terms of some of these other categories where they usually have seven, eight, nine, ten plus channels that there's only four different offerings here under curiosity. Certainly a section that has the potential to really add on to that Pluto TV experience that they aren't quite fully grasping, I feel, at this point. And then the final section is just music and radio. For anyone that has traditional satellite or cable TV, you know that they throw in just a ton of random different music channels to kind of pad the stats on how many channels you're getting with a particular TV package. Similar concept here with the different uh, music um, channels here that you're going to be getting with that Pluto TV stream. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. Those are all the different sections. Again, the areas where I feel like Pluto TV does the best is definitely news first and foremost with those 24-7 streaming news channels. And also, there's some decent options over in the entertainment category. If you're a big time movie fan and you don't necessarily need to see the cream of the crop in terms of movie offerings, you might find something there. The sports category, Stadium is a pretty good channel, but other than that, not necessarily the greatest options there. And then a whole lot of other of this content is more just curated short form YouTube type videos kind of mashed up into these different channels. So I hope this was helpful in terms of kind of exploring and going through the channel lineup offered at Pluto TV. Again, this is a free service. I definitely recommend you try it out, if, especially if you're somebody that doesn't like paying for this different type of content and you're just looking to have something to entertain you possibly without having to pay the price to do so. So thanks guys for stopping on in. Check out all of our Pluto TV discussion videos over on our YouTube channel. Subscribe for more and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.